Hi, I'm Tim. We're going to make installing a fireplace door very easy on you today. We're going to go through some of the pieces and parts you're going to need first. This fireplace comes with its own mounting hardware and kit and a nice little instruction booklet for you. You are not going to need everything they have in there, but it's better to have it here and not need it. You're going to need some countersinking bolts. I got the 3 8 just for the brick and block. You're going to need a masonry bit, some wood drill bits, and make some new screws because you might be able to use these just in place of the countersinking bolts. So let's get started. Here's your fireplace door as it comes from the manufacturer. It's already pre-assembled, all the doors mounted, set up for you. We're going to remove the screen doors on the inside to make it easier. As you can see, it's, it's not exactly light, but it is easily movable. So first we take the screen doors off to avoid them being in the way or damaging them. It's a simple spring mechanism, which all it requires for you to do is lift up on the screen door to open it. You can lift up on the screen door, the spring will release it, and there you go. Comes up that side. We took the, the bolt and the nut that they gave us, we run the nut all the way up to the very top the head of the bolt. It is a flat-headed bolt. And then put the washer on. Then the bracket. The bracket is going to mount to the underside of the fireplace. As so, this will be the inside edge of your fireplace, the back side of this brick facial. It'll mount on like that. So now this is applied through here, and this end will mount into a pre-welded bolt or nut right here on the back of the face. So I'm going to get the other side in to hold it tight so I can mark my bottom holes here. Now I have the top secured and I haven't tightened it other than hand tight because like I said, we're going to have to take it out again to drill the bottom brackets into the brick. So this is your bottom bracket. It is actually going to go into the brick with this side where this has this little set screw that comes with it. You'll put that in after you have your main bolt holding this and that just keeps your bracket from slipping back and forth. So, we're going to mark this inside here using a sharpie, a pen, a pencil, or a mason pen or crayon, whichever you prefer. But I'm going to go ahead and place this on the pre-welded nut on the inside of this. And then I will push it to the, the brick that I'm going to be mounting the bolt into and give myself a mark. Okay, we have the two brackets on the top, which we're going to remove right now. And then I've marked the two holes on the sides so that the fire, fireplace face will have four points of contact on the fireplace. Okay, I did get these self-tapping concrete screws. They're a little bit longer than we want and the head is a little bit smaller than the bracket will hold. So we're going to go ahead and put these anchors in that we're going to drill a pilot hole using my masonry bit. Does suggest that you use a hammer drill, but you can do it with the drill you have or the drill your neighbor has. Either way, you'll get it in. I'm going to go ahead and mark the depth of my anchor bracket because you want to drill your hole a quarter inch deeper than what this actually is. So I'm just going to mark it right on the drill bit here. That way I know where to stop. Now it's quarter inch just because of the point of the drill bit. Obviously this has no point, so it's not going to go all the way to that. So um, I like to make it easy. I actually have an impact wrench with the um, apparatus for my socket wrench. So what we've done so far is we put the counter sink anchors into the block. They're sitting in here, the, the bolts are on them. I'm going to take the nut off because obviously we need that and the washer. Put these right here, right in front of myself where I know where they are so I can very readily apply them. So as you can see, you have the threaded part of the nut sticking out of the block still. The rest of the anchor is, is already inside the 3 8 inch hole that we've drilled. And now we're going to put the face up. Nice little thing about this insulation and this type of door is Although I did center it to where I want it, if I needed to move it later, the brackets actually have this nice little slot so you have room to move it back and forth if you somehow nudge it off the center while you're installing it, while you're climbing around sticking your head in your fireplace. That's just what your mother told you not to do. So now we're reinstalling. 
same brackets. Now your face is mounted, secured, and finished. All we have to do is put these mesh doors back in and we're finished. This little spring was on the top that actually just applies with more pressure, it slides right back into its ex the existing hole. If you can find it. And there you go. Now we put the other one on. Make sure the spring door is still shut. There we go. There's your finished fireplace door.